Are you kidding? The gas cost you $7.39 a gallon. What? I think this is the most expensive gas station in Los Angeles. It's right here on Fairfax and Olympic. Look at this, it's August and it started raining in Los Angeles. My friend told me yesterday that it's gonna rain. Look at the weather right now. It says four o'clock is gonna start raining, but it's already raining right now. I don't know, it's only me or other people are the same way. This morning I thought, no, today I'm gonna clean my whole apartment, make everything nice. I clean the kitchen so everything is ready so I can feel really comfortable at home. I was all pumped up and then two minutes later I said, you know, maybe I should go to the museum today and do a video for YouTube. So I can't believe how indecisive I am. But here I am trying to go to the museum now and do a video. Maybe I clean tomorrow. What is wrong with me? And this is where we going. This looks like the Spears in Vegas, like the electronic thing. That's the newest thing in Vegas but this is totally different but you got some really good view from up there it's not even raining hard it's just drizzling how did they get this huge rock up there you have to walk underneath it ah uh, I'm holding it up if you live in Florida you're probably used to the rain when it's really hot outside and it starts raining so the rain is actually warm so right now it's drizzling, but it's still super warm outside. You probably got a really good view from up there to see the Hollywood sign. Uh-oh, smooching, you're on camera. Kind of reminds me of Star Wars, the Death Star. No, this is not the Star Wars sign. This is Star Trek, but I'm just doing this because of Captain Spock today on my t-shirt. By the way, I also got that shirt from Ross Dress for Less for $7.99. Kind of feels like you're in Vegas right now. They got those palm trees there. I normally never seen those palm trees in LA. They look different. I always wanted to do a video about the 99 cent store. Never done it. Looks like somebody was eating at the 99 cent store. There's Johnny's. I really like this coffee shop restaurant, but it's not open anymore. You can only rent it if you want to do like movies inside. And since I didn't want to do a video today, of course I didn't shave today. But here we are with Oscar. Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. And the Oscar goes to the GIV. See, when I see something like this, this is America to me. An old 50 diner. I think this building used to be a May company. There's a picture of Julie Garland standing right here in 1940. With like a business suit. It's an awesome building, huh? The Saban Building, Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. This is the entrance, let's go in. There was an antique store in downtown that was selling one of those for $4,000. If I had the right place, I would buy it. They call this lobby Sydney Portier Grand Lobby. Maybe that's just their style, but they spent millions of dollars to build this. It looks like it's not finished. How nice would that be if they had something nice up there? You can still see the concrete. And there he is, Sidney Portier. He got the Oscar for Lilies off the field, I think. It is $25 to get in. They got all those little Oscars on your wristband. If you go on YouTube and type in Academy Award Museum, you see a lot of, basically all the YouTubers vlogged this when it first opened up. And I waited because I didn't really like liked it too much. I thought it was not worth the money. And that's why I waited so long to come here. So I'm gonna check it out, even though all the YouTubers done a video about it already. First stop would be stories of cinema, but I'm not really interested in the stories. I just wanna see artifacts. 
So basically, you walk around in this area here and then you look at movie clips from movies. I really want this Oscar in my place. They just told me I should go all the way up to fifth floor and then work my way down to the bottom. Let's do this. They got a Lego Oscar here. How many pieces? And there he is, Bruce the Shark. I remember him being at the Universal Studios. That was a photo op. And I was standing right underneath his mouth with my mom and my dad. I don't know where this picture is. That's always the problem. I have so many pictures, it's hard for me to find them. But I definitely got a picture where my girlfriend is standing underneath. You want to see a picture of my ex-girlfriend? That was at the Universal Studios when I first came to America. I exactly knew where her picture was. He's a 20 footer. I'm just to let you know in case you ever encounter like a shark in the wild, all you gotta do is just hit him on the nose. Then he automatically turns around. I saw that on TikTok, it should work. Like I said, I thought they finished building it. Put some wood up there. So I guess everything has a famous name. This is yeah. the Barbara Streisand Bridge. <laughs> That's where we're gonna go over. One more thing that makes me crazy when, I, when I'm filming and I say, oh, this is this and this, and then people comment on my, whatever I said. Oh yeah, this is great. I'm doing the video here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this view here. You really feel like you're somewhere where they filmed Star Wars. That is definitely a really cool view from here. I always have to make a decision, where do I put this video in the movie? Do I put it in the beginning, at the end? Because the retention is only like eight minutes, sometimes six minutes. So I want the people to see the good stuff and then they're not gonna watch the rest of the video anymore. So maybe you stay for the whole video, that would be cool. The observatory is on the right and then you pan over. You can barely see the Hollywood sign. On a clear day, that would be an awesome view here. This place here looks really nice at night. They have different colors. There's really nothing on the fifth floor. You can only go outside. They're wasting so much space. I don't know. The Oscar experience is a separately ticket exhibit. So you pay extra and then you get to hold a real Oscar in your hand and they take a picture with you. Been there, done that many times. This is the Rolex gallery. You think that's a real Rolex? Another room with like screens and you can watch clips for movies. Movies I have never heard of. This is something I like, Jack Skeleton. It's like stop motion, they're all like different heads. And when you move him, he becomes alive. I think those are all original heads. Those are all stop motion animated characters. That's a little guy from Pinocchio. The corpse bride. And there we got Ursula from The Little Mermaid. They have so much space to display stuff, but they only use so little space to display stuff. This is absolutely fascinating. The T-1000 liquid terminator. They use this also in the movies. This is fantastic. This is brand new technology. I was really fascinated when I seen the movie Avatar. Had cameras right in front, they actually got all the motions from their face. That's him, R2-D2. Unbelievable. This is the original one from the movie. It's hard to believe that somebody was actually in there moving it or like they moved it from the outside, but they still had somebody in there. I wish I would have seen that earlier when I was younger. Now I get to see all this good stuff when I'm older. Man, this is absolutely incredible. C-3PO. Also, this costume was originally worn. Man, I actually seen him also at the Comic-Con. 
But that alone is worth the $25 already you've seen it. Yeah. Kind of looks like, I'm not sure if it's really metal or plastic. Man, I could just stand here for a while and look at it from all different sides. They did such a great job building all those droids. That is the one I seen on screen years ago. See, they have really cool costumes here, but I cannot relate to it, so it doesn't really mean nothing to me. Just looking at it, it's pretty cool. I only like stuff that I can relate to, Edward Scissorhands. Of course, we all seen the movie, and this is what he was wearing in the movies. Look at this, wow. So you never get to see it up close. Now you can see all those different scissors we cut the hair with and all the other stuff. Johnny Depp was wearing those. How cool is that, huh? I mean, the detail, you never really see that on screen. I love it. I mean, it brings you right back when you see the movie, the scenes he was doing. Nice. Gary Oldman was wearing this in Dracula. Can't remember that, I don't even think I've seen it. Some kind of transmitter in Blade Runner. Can't remember that. Jake Gyllenhaal was wearing this costume. Never seen the movie. Alien. I mean, those are all original props. This outfit is from the movie Black Panther. And now you can get to see all the detail. Like I said, on the screen, you never see it. It takes forever to make a costume like this. Space Odyssey. Have not seen the movie either. Man, I'm lacking on my movies. This is crazy. Some Batman Returns. It's just the model. When you see it in the movie, it looks real. Look how big that model is. Every little detail here. Nice. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger in the T-800 Terminator. I'll be back. I don't know, it looks pretty fake. But they use this animatronics to do some scenes. You see all the quartz in the back right here. They had to move his head a certain way. It was too dangerous to do the stunt by Arnold himself. There's a side profile here. Sometimes they just paint the screen and they use it. Here you can see how they painted the stuff on as a backdrop. They build whatever creepy character you want, even with little tiny hairs. This is one of Jim Henson's puppets. Look at the hand. This is hair and makeup. You already know what we're looking at. Of course, Beetlejuice. Poison Ivy, we got Uma Thurman. Oh dear, would you like a cup of coffee? Mrs. Doubtfire. This is Tom Cruise. This is something I could collect too. Live mass from celebrities, Jack Nicholson. This is Mel Brooks, Grace Kelly. Clark Gable. It is unbelievable what you can do with makeup. You can even make the GIV look young. That's awesome. Austin Butler's 
outfit when he portrayed Elvis Presley, the pink suit. Remember when he was shaking in the movie? He was all shaking on stage. They show all different costumes worn in different movies. Some of them I don't even know what they're from. Mel Streep was wearing this one. It's pretty dark in here. Sometimes it's hard to see. They show the movie. Look at this elaborate outfit here. We are just looking at the suit, but at one time, Frank Sinatra had the suit on. He's passed away a long time already. And now we are looking at this. Where is this hat ever gonna end up and this shirt I'm wearing right now? I don't think in the museum. I'm just joking, don't take me serious. Of course I'm not as famous as Frank Sinatra, but I'm just still wondering it's probably gonna end up in the trash someday. It's amazing to think that they had all those different lenses and look how big that camera used to be. They had to film it, develop it, and I'm holding a whole camera, motion picture camera in my hand right now. iPhone 13 Plus Pro. It is the typewriter Joseph Stefano wrote the screenplay Psycho. Some kids don't even know what that is anymore. Those are all drafts of scripts. Drawings of Alfred Hitchcock's birds. Every little scene is drawn on first. Diane Keaton was wearing this one. Al Pacino. No feelings of any of this stuff here. No relation. This is pretty cool. Those are original Polaroids from stars when they first auditioned. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, look at this one. Catherine Jayla Jones. Danny Trejo. Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, this, this is crazy. I love this. Angelina Jolie, look at her. Man. That's a piece of history. Molded head from the Godfather. This is Marlon Brando's teeth. And this is how one of those makeup boxes look like. They have the desk, the chair, and everything around it from The Godfather. Robert Duvall, James Caan, and Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando was sitting in that chair. I mean, that's something really, really cool. From the movie. Almost touching it. I watched that movie long, long time ago. Now I have to watch it again. This looks so real. This is like a horse head. Cut it off. Francis Ford Coppola, copy of The Godfather. It's like you're sitting in a train, but it's all digital images in the background. Here they show all the Oscar speeches of all the people that ever won an Oscar. Of course, the slap will always be in everybody's mind. Will Smith. There she is, Cher. Some of them for decades. And um, thank 
you to every member of the academy. Uh, this is okay. Here's a room full of real Oscars from different celebrities. I haven't even heard about him. Well, they have like all the way around different Oscars. And just like this, you had Mount Rushmore with all the four presidents here. Can you name all the presidents? This was used in a Cary Grant movie. Instead of flying there, they just did a huge backdrop and it looked real. It's not even a photograph, it's a painting. But it looks real. I've never been there. Friends of mine told me if you go there, you're really disappointed because it looks so small. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the museum. And I don't really know how to tell you this. I always try to uh, stay positive with everything I do, but I must say I'm deeply disappointed in this museum right here. I've seen it before on YouTube and I thought, man, it's not really worth it coming here. Even though I said in the video, it's already worth it to $25 if I see R2D2 and the C3PO. But I really, really wanted to see Bruce Lee's nunchucks and Bruce Lee's outfit. And they did not have that anymore. That was here only the first year when they opened. So that's one thing I'm really disappointed about. And the other thing is this place is so huge and they don't really use the space to display something. There's a icons of the dark on Hollywood Boulevard. It's like a small museum. This is a thousand times better than this museum right here. The artifacts you see here is like, you can Google stuff like this, I don't know. I'm not impressed with the huge building, the little stuff they display. Anyway, it is what it is. I paid for it and uh, you live and you learn. You saw my video and maybe you wanna watch some other videos. If you're into the old Hollywood style, the old movies, it's probably more for you. But I like all the new stuff or most of the new stuff say 80s 70s 80s 90s that's what i'm into i'm not into the 50s stuff anyway if you happen to like this video you know what to do i don't have to tell you all the time i just want to let you know thanks for tuning in and uh i see you in my next video you thought i'm gonna forget to say subscribe no please subscribe see you guys later to sing uh oh wait a second I forgot something. I really like the view up here. That was the best. Standing up there and looking over Hollywood. That was the best. Even though it was like a kind of like a hazy day. You couldn't really see too far. But that's it. See you later.